Hey, what's up? This is Mike from Blood of the Wolf, and today we're going to be taking a look at a Gator GWE Extreme guitar case. <sighs> Alright, so I bought this case for my Jackson RRXMG24. Um, it does not fit in my SKB case that's made for uh, my V-shaped guitars, like my King V. Uh, the King V fits in just fine. The RRX24MG, um, the upper wing is just a little too long and you can't really fit it in the case. I mean, you could, but then you're kind of really squeezing it in there and you might end up damaging one of the fins. So I had bought uh, an LTD case and that fits uh, the RRXMG and the King V um, perfectly. But it's huge. And the problem is when you're going to a gig, uh, you know, you got all your gear in your car, maybe merch boxes and things like that. And so space becomes a premium. So this case is smaller than that, which is good. And... Um, the Rhodes fits in it. So I'm going to show you this uh, case here. I'm going to put my guitars inside and uh, we'll take a look at the case real close. Okay, so here's the case. I got it off of Amazon uh, for a little bit cheaper because it was damaged. They didn't have a new one. Um, there's a little bit of cracking here. I taped with Gorilla Tape over so that to prevent it from cracking further, but you can see um, there was just a little crack here around the corner, but no big deal. When I open this, the, the latches are fine. That's good. The handle is fine. Um, opened up the case, kind of felt around inside here, and everything feels fine. So I feel like that's just a surface, some surface damage. But again, I just gorilla taped around it. All right, anyway, let's put some guitars in there so you can see um, how they fit. You got a pouch here for strap and whammy bar and stuff. All right, let's grab, let's grab some guitars. All right, we'll start with this one. This is the RRX MG24. It's just a Rhodes, X Series Rhodes. Um, let's see how it fits. Okay. Okay, so this was the main concern I had was this tip was just a little too long for the SKB case. Now you can see here there's some wiggle room, um, which isn't a bad thing. So it's not going to, I mean the case is padded. So we got a good, I don't know, half inch there of padding. Let me see how close I can get. See that? So that's, that's fine. And over here, we got just a little bit of wiggle room. There's a neck pocket here. And then up top, we got some room for the headstock. So that's cool. I don't feel like it's going to move around too much. And there's certainly enough padding so that it's not something I'm worried about. All right, now let's try some other guitars just to see uh, what else this case can hold. Okay, here's my RRXMG24 Reverse. It's the one, the blacked out one, with the black inlays and stuff, and this fits in there too. Okay, so even a reverse headstock guitar is going to fit. Let's take... Okay, again you got a little bit of that wiggle room here, that's okay. Uh, a little bit of wiggle room there, again, not worried about it because it's padded. Reverse headstock is fine, we got this neck pocket. Does it close? Well, let me take the whammy bar off. Yeah, it closes. Just take my word for it, but if you really want to see, let me take the whammy bar off. Okay, whammy bar is off. Case closes. Latch is on. Cool. Okay. Here's my 7-string model, the RRXT247. Let's put this in the case. Okay. Okay, again, got a little wiggle room down there. No big deal. Fits in the pocket. 
headstock is just fine. So this fits the RRXMGs as well as the 7-string model. Pretty cool. Okay, here's my X-Series King V. A little less wiggle room down here, but a lot of room up on top where the headstock is. So, um, for this particular guitar, I don't think I would use this case. I don't need to, because I have that SKB that fits the King V pretty good. But, um, if you were going to purchase this for your King V, I would recommend putting like something up here to keep it from moving uh, forward too much, because it does, there is a lot of, there's some sliding room. But again, the interior of the case is padded, so that's not that big of a deal. Okay, here's one of my Kellys. It fits in the case just fine. There's a little bit of sliding room, just like the King V. But here's my Jackson Warrior. Jackson Warrior fits. Plenty of room up top. A little bit of room down there by the feet in the corners. Um, it's going to slide around a little bit, but again, case is padded. Okay, even the Kelly Star fits, and I have to say, I'm impressed. This even has less wiggle room given the shape. That's about all it's moving because it's got this high horn and this very long low horn there, but fits good. Fits very good. Okay, so the Gator GWE Extreme. It fits all of my guitars with extreme shapes. I don't think there's any point in testing out a Stratocaster like Dinky or Soloist. They're going to fit. Um, that's not really what the case is designed for anyway. It's for extreme shapes. So it fits all of my guitars, including my seven string Rhodes. So um, this case is $110. I got it for a little bit cheaper from Amazon because it was damaged. But for $110, this is a good case. Um, might not be something you want to tour with. I wouldn't recommend like, um, yeah, touring. Because if you've ever been on tour before, your cases get pretty abused. So this might not be something for touring, but for for like one-off shows, perfect. Because it's going to save you some room in the car, and it's not that expensive, and it's going to protect your guitars. It is a wood case, um, so that's good, but um, I don't think it's like the thickest or the best because it's the economy, the GWE. It's an economy series. So I think it's a great case for the price. Um, that LTD case I mentioned earlier that I had was... I think $200, and the SKB case I think was around the same thing, so close to close to 200 if not quite 200 maybe like 180 or something like that. But still, for a case that's only 110 and fits all these guitars, great job, Gator. I'm, I am pleased. I am impressed.